Good morning, everyone. Today we are embarking on the learning of Sefer Chavetz Chaim by Rav Yisomea Koin Kagan, who was known as the Chavetz Chaim because of this revolutionary work which deals with the laws of Lashon Hara, how a person is going to guard themselves from speaking Ill, Ill words and gossip and negativity about another Jew. And the Chavetz Chaim has a very beautiful Hagdama, an introduction to the Sefer, which will give us the vision that the Chavetz Chaim had of why he wrote this work and what we should try to keep in mind for ourselves as we are going through it. So he writes, Baruch Hashem Elokei Yisrael, Blessed is Hashem, the God of Israel, He separated us from all the nations. And He gave us His Torah. And he brought us into the Holy Land, Eretz Yisrael. Because only when a Jew is living in Eretz Yisrael are they able to fulfill all of the mitzvahs. There's 613 mitzvahs, but there is a good portion of them that revolve around the land of Israel. And if you don't live there, and it's not a time when there's a base of Migdash, we're going to be lacking in our performance of mitzvahs. Everything that our Kodesh Baruch Hu does is only for our benefit, for our good. Because through the mitzvahs, through the service of our Kodesh Baruch Hu, we are Kedosh we are a holy nation to Hashem. Like it says in the Torah, in order that you should remember and perform all of my mitzvahs, and then you will be holy to Hashem. A Jew that keeps mitzvahs becomes a holy person. Holiness means he's infused with Shechina. He's infused with Kedusha, with the Ruchnias, with spirituality. He's able to separate himself from the mundane things that are dragging the world down. And he cleaves, and he clings to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The mitzvahs are the vehicles that HaKadosh Baruch has given us in this world to be able to reach this state of Kedusha, of holiness and sanctity. And He gave us the abilities to receive the hashpa, the influence of His goodness. So much of His chesed, His kindness, in this world, and in the world to come. We can receive the goodness of Hashem and His Chesed and the closeness to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, even while we are here in this world. The ultimate place where we will be able to enjoy that is in the world to come. Like it says in the Torah, What does Hashem ask from you? Just fear, have awe of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Lishma's mitzvahs Hashem, guard the mitzvahs of Hashem, ves chukaisav, his statutes, asha noichi mitzavach ayoyim, that I am commanding you today, letoiv lach, because it's for your good. What does Hashem want? He wants you to fear him, to love him, to go in his ways, to guard his mitzvahs, to keep them in the proper way, because it's for your benefit. Torah and mitzvahs is not a burden. Torah mitzvah is not a kanas, it's not a fine, it's not something that's supposed to be painful upon us. On the other hand, if a person would be able to connect to the Torah in the right way, they would realize it's l'toyvlach, every mitzvah that I'm able to fulfill, it's for my benefit, it's for my good. It brings me closer to the Rebbe Nishayim, and the closer that I am to Hashem, that is when I reach the level of Kedusha of holiness. And he writes in the parentheses, the Ayin Shav Peresh Ramban. If you look in the commentary of the Ramban, Nachmanis on that verse, Dailatoivlach, when it says that the reason you're doing all these things is for your benefit, Adchilas Apostik, it's going back to the beginning of the verse, the Mashem Elkecha Shomi Machkoi. What is it that Hashem asks of you? Meaning, what does Hashem ask of you so that everything should be for your benefit and for your good? If you'll think to yourself, how good it is if I keep His mitzvahs, how wonderful it is if I increase my yir HaShemai, my fear of Hashem, how wonderful it is if I have an ava, a love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and I'm laleches bedrachav, I go in His ways. So then you'll realize that everything that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has in store for you, it is all the tayvach, it is all for your good. And this is the 
beginning of the beginning of the introduction of the Chavetz Chaim, that we must recognize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a vision for all of Klal Yisrael and each of us as individuals, and that is, He wants us close to Him. How do we get close? We strive for a life of Kedusha, of holiness, of sanctity, where we raise ourselves up from this mundane world and we get closer to Hashem. How do we do that? Mitzvahs. HaKadosh Baruch Hu made the plan, the perfect calculated plan in this world. It's called Torah, which is filled with mitzvahs, and every mitzvah that a person does will bring us closer to this ultimate goal, which is L'Toyvlach, which is for your, your benefit, for your good. Have a wonderful day.